God, it's so <laughs> that was loud. It's loud. What time? It's like 10 o'clock in the morning, and all you hear is like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a clean up. That's not fun. Oh. Anyway, welcome back here to our ESP LTD um, takeover, takeover day. Uh, I'm Pete. <laughs> I'm Rabir. Uh, this is another day. How many three days in a row now we've been chucking away on these guitars? So these guitars are the M series. We got some E twos. We got a we got a snapper in here as well. Me me me. We got a snapper and we got an an LTD uh, M deluxe as well. We're going to get to in a minute. These, of course, are the Japanese-made... Full fat. Full fat, top of the reins, come with a case, best quality materials. Yeah. Guitars that uh, they make at ESP. I mean, they're not the costume shop version. You know, no, it's you, not like the super, super, like, I know what you're talking Have you been about, into yeah. the costume shop? So there's two different uh, places where they make them as far as where there's an American place and then there's a place in Japan. Right. So if you are at NAM, if any of you have been to NAM, when you go into the ESP stand or the LTD and Takamine, where they've got all that stuff, they've got this row of these custom shop guitars. They're always which, beautiful. It's just, you can get anything you want yeah if you have the money because yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's got the I mean, it's just 10 it's just 10 grand it's so expensive but it is you get any shape you want any color you want you so get yeah, they're not actually like limited to a certain shape is it you can literally have whatever I you think want you can i think you can oh, right so these uh, are made in japan these are made in japan and these are the Evertune guitars so we're talking creme de la creme uh older mm. maple neck Proper <laughs> ebony board, stainless steel frets, yeah. and don't adjust your TV set because this is a seven string, and I did chuck. Yes, you did. I did. And I must say, impressed <laughs> with the dirty, filthy, evil sounding Grimace riffs from Pete to my left. I sent you a text last night going, don't worry about the seven string tomorrow, man. I've got you covered. And it's yeah. just been going. <laughs> so I've been practicing all night. I really enjoyed that. Um, Full fat Goto locking hardware here. So these are the same, but you've got a nice sparkly green. Yeah, number. this is like a granite sparkle. Absolutely love these uh, with the Fishman pickups on it. Volume uh, and a tone, three-way selector, and a different voicing, voicing here. Um, we would talk about the Evertune, and you're like, I don't know about the Evertune, and a lot of people, are, I'm not sure about. I'll it. give you my vibe on the Evertune. Yeah. So, but here, let me just <laughs> demonstrate because I, I, I really like it actually. Yeah, but it was when Pete explained. Why the Evertune is so useful for the genre? Yeah, because um, I'm there funny. going, I'm there going. You know, I just I'd never use an Evertune on like my Strat or my Les Paul or anything. You know, like you know, I, I totally see the vo the point. And then Pete quickly corrected me into why well, you it's said so it, it, you said you said it kills the tone or something or, or it, it, yeah, it takes the, the tone. tone away. And then I go well, tone. What you know? What's the? <laughs> no, no offense to anybody who who does that, but if you need this. That, yeah. well, if that's the tone you're looking for, <laughs> it doesn't matter how much it, wood is doing the guitar. It doesn't really not. matter if it's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all it matters is it does it stay in tune. Yeah. And it really does. So yeah, it, it does. The, the it's it's quite remarkable system actually. It's got these all these little maybe we can show one on the screen. You have got one for each string. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can see here, you got the plate, uh, and you can see these little. It's got one per string in here. Mm -hmm. And if I try to move a string, I'm not sure if you can see that, but if I bend the string, you can see it kind of moves. One of them kind of mo that, the one that I'm bending oh, yeah. is moving. See, so I figured out, I figured out that if you want to tune the guitar, so it does the. Because mm -hmm. what happens is that this is the fun bit. Look. I'm turning and nothing happens. What? Look. Okay. There it comes. So, but if I'm, so what happens is it goes to the next tone now, the next half step oh, down. Oh, right. So now it's D flat. So if, but if I bend, let me go clean. Uh, so now it works, but if I go in between it. Hmm? Check this out, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest thing ever, but it's incredible how quick it is. Look, do you know? It's incredible. So what? So what you do is, um, what you do is you you go you go above. So you There's keep tuning up. Someone we can play a trick on with that. Look, try this guitar out. It's great. They have yeah. no idea what ever tune is. Like, what's <laughs> yeah. happened to my guitar playing? You strap a little uh, <laughs> like a like an arm on it, so it looks yeah. like it's got an arm. Yeah. So, so you go above. There you go. So now I'm bending above the note that I'm looking for, yeah. so the E, and then I go down. And then now we're on the E, so now I should be able to... Okay. Do 
you know, that was a blues lick. It's probably then, the most bluesy thing that'll ever be played on that guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, it's after playing it a little bit yesterday. Um, actually, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> I'm getting used to, to to playing those kind of. It's just the extra string and the. It's a little bit more girthy the board, mm. but. Um, I'm not really going to chuck on it because it is more. Maybe I should. Maybe we should reverse these. Uh, should we just? Should I just Why not? do a quick little? Yeah. What are we here? Here we are. I, I, I mean, it's safe to say that Pete can definitely <laughs> chug metal now. I mean, I just it, what, what I need is to listen to some music. So suggest what I should listen to, and then I'll go and listen and see. Because it's the riffs, isn't it? Yeah, like suggest good stuff. We're not talking like straight up, just like grindcore pig squeal metal. Like, no, I know. need some good riffing. Some, some if you're string. into it, and that's cool. But like for Pete. You know, we want to hear some some attitude laden filthy metal but it's, riffs. It's great. I'm really I'm really into it. <laughs> Do you know my theory on the whole thing is it's in the same way that you get like a 60 60 strat through like a beautiful bluesy amplifier yeah, with yeah. the right pedals. And you play and you go, this allows me to do exactly what I hear in my head. Yeah. There's a certain marriage of gear for the metal genre that does the same thing. Yeah. And there's a thing in that sound that when you chug, it has that satisfying aggression. You're like, there's so much anger coming from this tiny little movement that, that yeah. I, I really enjoy. And it also, it's definitely a technique thing because, you know, when we had the thing with Ola, me and Lee and yeah. we were trying to chug, we were... There's an attitude in You've it. Got the which, hang of it which I'm gonna hang of it. So if I just pull this switch out, so here you get the difference. So that's the voice switch. Here's the middle position. Bit more gain. Pull it. Front. Pull it. Oh, it's, it's very pronounced on the front. <laughs> I'll let you do some clean stuff. I like it, man. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm into it. Um, and it can also do the funky bits, can it? So, but anyway, we're, we're rambling on. We've got some other guitars to look at. So, yeah. uh, do some claims, please. If Mine's you, if you exactly don't mind. the same. Yeah, same guitar. But pearl white. One thing I was going to say was the marriage of elixir strings and stainless steel frets. It's like, it feels like it's going when you're doing vibrato. <laughs> like you don't feel it. There's no friction. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I mean, elixir strings. Really, not a lot of friction there. Like no. I'm used to more. Rat like scrapiness. Yeah, the, the, the scraping of, yeah. Of, a, of a nickel thread against the, some nickel strings. It's nice. You and know, you also a... pointed out this amazing feature. <laughs> I mean, come on. That was Lee. That was uh, Lee was so saying. So good. It's it's a uh, every. Um, they saved the aero industry after you couldn't smoke on planes anymore. It's yeah. been be scooped in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and help, and saved the company yeah. that made the old ashtrays for. Uh, yeah, we can help you here. <laughs> But it's I, wicked. That's really cool. I like that. Does the Evertune uh, mean that you can't recess the backplate? I'm not sure how it how it all how that whole uh, system kind of works. But uh, okay. I would assume there's a lot of stuff going on in there in the Evertune, and it seems like it's quite high up. Yeah. If you yeah, look right. in there, it seems like there's a lot going on. I mean, yeah. you could you could off, buy, buy these aftermarket once, you know. Yeah. And you also have these little screws in here. I haven't. I'm not exactly. 100% sure it works, but I think you kind of have to adjust all of this at the same time. So when you you can drop in one to a Strat or, or yeah. a Telecaster, but, it, <laughs> I, but I think the that. routing or the routing is just there's so much going into it. Anyway, lovely done that. satin finish neck here. That's yeah, beautiful. it's got a nice satin neck as well. Like again, they do and feel you, weighty and expensive. And you point out the scarf when you have got a cheaper or more affordable. The, the oh, scarf done will, it here. The scarf yeah. will be here. You know, this is almost like somebody's has sprayed and then gently wiped it off. Yeah. 
Just you know, that it's area almost a blend. Of the heel. Yeah, it's almost yeah, like yeah. a blend, you know. So you do get the creme de la creme for the. They're not cheap guitars. I mean, no, we're, no. we're talking th three plus grand. So, but it's if you want the if you want the, you know. So yeah, anyway, yeah. sorry. Go, do some lovely cleans. Right. This is a tune to drop A, I think, and uh, we're on a. Yeah, we're on a. We've got Walrus and Stroud on the floor. <laughs> Good tones. Uh, they are. It sounds fantastic. Yeah. yeah. There's really something nice. with those um, Fishman pickups. They're that hot. Just, yeah. They, they're mo I think they're moderns, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But I think they are. It's like this. It's, it's just... like when you pull it, it sort of scoops, takes a bit of mid range out, like yeah. almost sort of sweetens it up a little bit. So like if you do the middle pickup kind of chimey things that you hear in a lot of gent, you know that can. Like you'd need a really compressed clean tone to really get the most out of it, yeah. but that... That's what it's... A little bit more compressed on it, yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. it feels like that's what it's designed for. It looks beautiful. It does. Anyway, let's move on quickly, because uh, we've got some more guitars to go through, and we've got some more media studios today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is the M8-1000. This is an LTD, so this is a, a more affordable model. It's still over a grand. It's still about 1,300 plus quid, but just make sure that you click the links below. And also, make sure you like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, hit that because, bell. so you don't miss any of these completely rambling videos that we do. <laughs> um, so this is an, um, this again has got the Evertune on it, this is a six string, um, this is a mahogany body with a maple cap on it, uh, and then it's got a maple neck on it here with Macasa Ebony, uh, so slightly more affordable than, than the Ebony that's on these guitars here. It doesn't come with the case, all of these come with the case. So it's got an EMG 81 and a 60 TVR. Not sure what that stands for. No, TVR, that's a car it's for a me. It's a car brand, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is. Tuscan Speed 6. That's it. Oh, yeah. Here's the neck pickup. I split that. Still, I'm not a fan of a split again. There you go, so that's a split neck pickup. Personally, again, split pickups. I say it all the time. People are like, oh, you're a blah, blah, But is yeah, it a split like it. or is it yeah, a voicing? Because it's an no, no, EMG, no, isn't no, it? No, these are EMGs. But these do they are have EMGs. Coils in them? It's a coil split. That's what it says anyway oh, on right. the thing. Yeah, it's split. So, what well, you can hear. Is it a physical coil? Yeah, something? according to the website, it says put push for split. So right. I would assume it is a split. Um, well, here's the middle position. And here is the bridge. And let's split that. What do you want to hear on a... On a <laughs> uh, I forgot to split the middle, so here we go. Uh, but you want to hear some gains, so let's go into the Kraken on the neck. Oh, no, sorry, on the bridge pickup. What do you do?
I would have said that's more of a cleanish, yeah. kind of just broken up. Something like that, you know. It's nice. But it's 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 got a it's got the EMG thing. It does sound good, it's but well, as soon as you add gain to it, I'm like, oh, that's great. Yeah, and again, the Evertune system, and you see the battery here is, is a plastic. Oh, yeah, it's just a plastic You cover. don't get the last yeah. tray. <laughs> you don't Swirl get the last all that tray. loveliness. Um, so, you know, it's again, it's a good alternative to a Super Strat, you know. Uh, yeah, if you, if you with want the metal, tune. something that stays in tune. Yeah, something that stays in tune. Anyway, let's move on to the snapper. Snap, 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 snap. Well, I'm holding the E2 SN2, which stands for snapper. Yeah. This is right up at the top end of the... Proper sort of, super strat. Yeah, the, I mean... The, of, the, and, of the budget range, isn't it? It's like proper. Yeah. Japanese made. It's got a... I would assume this is like a mapper burl top. Mm. Some type of burl top. Real burl top. Yeah. Uh, older body. Maple neck, ebony fingerboard, stainless steel frets, 24 of them. Uh, aftermath set from bare knuckle pickups. Yeah. And you've also got a, an original Floyd Rose trim uh, with this nice hybrid hardware, which I do think is a nice touch. You've got a coil split, you've got uh, a three way. You then have uh, <laughs> Goto locking tuners and a locking nut. It's double backing, baby. Yeah. Double backing. <laughs> Just in case you weren't completely sure. I think it's in case you were worried or jealous that these have Evertune. Well, then you've got like absolute. You got forever Evertune. You can double lock it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's have a listen to see, uh, see how it sounds. So. It does have a coil split in it, so I should probably show you what that sounds like real fast. Yep. So, if I coil split it down. That's more like the tone you'd hear on those yeah, albums. Yeah. Monster pickups yeah. in that, isn't it? Fling, 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 fling. Oh, with the Floyd, yeah, <laughs> the Floyd can do fling, the... Fling. It's funny when Lee mentioned yesterday, it's right, if you get a right, the, the right Floyd, a real Floyd Rose is uh, worlds apart from a, oh, yeah. from a really, really, really cheap it is. Floyd Rose. It's just, the it, super it smooth, yeah. yeah. I, I would say, having never played this guitar, never picked it up, if you, everybody's got their own preference for setup. Yeah. If I own this guitar, I would be, I'd, I'd be pretty confident that it'd be one of the sort of slinkiest guitars that I'd, I'd own. Yeah. Like alongside some of the other stuff that I play. But like, I mean, I've never played it and I was like, oh, I can shred on this like it all yeah, day it's long. Like the great neck yeah. shape is like it's thin new and it's a lovely yeah. piece, is it? It's, it's, it's a lead player's guitar. Yeah. Absolutely. It's a super strat. Yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? Which leads us to this one. This is a proper super strat because it's only one pickup. It's for people like me that just doesn't need very much. <laughs> uh, string through body. That's so cool. Love that. So, you know, and the scarf here, you know, you might not like that. I don't know. It's slightly, it's kind of, it's, it's like, I'll put some tape on there and then swipe it off. I don't know. But it's, it's also saying, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's telling a tale. It is. You know, because there's not much going on on this guitar. So you think, well, let's do a little bit extra on the back. Because the front has to be as good as the back, right? I really hope it's that that's an obtuse <laughs> angle. Like, I don't know. I'm terrible at maths or whatever. But if that is an obtuse angle, then you could What's say it looks rather angle? obtuse. 
Like, it's the way it looks. <laughs> anyway, 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 super. So it's got a, it's got this satin finish, which means that as soon as you touch it, you ruin it, basically. Um, proper dark ebony board, maple neck. Um, was this an older body as well? I think. Yeah. Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? The Jack Butler guitar from the Crossroads film. Who? Jack Butler, you know. That's nice Steve. to meet you, Jack. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the video, the film that Lee's never seen, and I've bought him, bought him the DVD, and he still and two or three it. other people have bought him the DVD, and they're still in his office, <laughs> wrapped. Still, it's like, watch the DVD, man. It reminds um, me of that a bit, though. I mean, there's nothing going on. No split, no nothing. Just a one pickup. Riff machine. It's a riff machine, and here is some clean. and a big fat stainless steel frets on it. It's not a... It's not for that at all. I, don't, I really nice don't though. think... It sounds great. It's an 81 in here, so... Um, but I think you probably need a bit more. Oh, yeah. machine is it yes dude I, I don't know man I'm uh, it's uh, great guitar if Peace you're looking for that is way right way wider when you're playing <laughs> like that you, you do know <laughs> really big vibrato. <laughs> I mean, the, the vibrato is the key to all great guitar playing. Because it's literally, you can do anything in a vibrato. We keep talking about it. And try to play a lick and don't end in a vibrato. It's one of the most difficult things you'll ever do. Your brain is going to go, no! It's <laughs> yeah. like doing this. And then, ah, don't do it's that. It's the same thing. It's just playing a, uh, playing a lick and then never playing the vibrato. Anyway, man, we're rambling on here. We need to stop now. This video is going on for way too long. Uh, these are the M-series. Should um, hold it the right way around. And somewhere. a snap her. Yeah. Uh, please like and subscribe and hit over head over to the um, over to the uh, what are they called? The, all our social medias, YouTube and Facebook for all of the live chat with the ESP guys. Um, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take it You're easy. Happy? You're happy? happy? I'm happy. You're happy. Good. See you later. Then.